I guess you've seen multiple day in a life video of a software engineer. And if you're like me, you're still, at least before I started working as a software engineer, you're still like, what the heck do these guys do? This video is for you. I promise this is a very different video because in this video, what I'm just going to be doing is telling you what my day looks like, what exactly I do on a day to day basis. And it's probably for you. Maybe you're just like my parents who have no idea what I do for work. And you're like, this guy just makes money, but I don't know what he does. Or maybe you're trying to get into software engineering and you want to see if that's the kind of life you want to live whether that's what you want your days to look like so i'm just going to be telling you what my day looks like and i should also say that it really depends on the level that you have but mostly everybody does different proportions of some of the things that i do but the higher you go the less of some things that you do and the more of some things that you do but that's too much talk let's get into what my day looks like as a software engineer now so what are some of the things that i do i'm not going to be running you through say oh 8 a.m i wake up 2 p.m i'm doing this i'm just going to be giving you highlight of each item of the things that i do and depending on the day i think the first thing that i obviously do as a software engineer is to write code and to build new features now coding it can be that i'm building a new feature right which is like adding something else to the software or it can be that i'm refactoring a part of the code base so that's one of the first thing which you already knows that but if you don't know what that is like writing code or what that even means i can always record another video to talk about that but the next thing that i would say is that apart from the fact that i write code another thing that i do is that i have to review other people's code so this happens that when you write code so that we can make sure that the code that you're writing is quality more or less and there's also like expected quality of what your code is supposed to look like when you write a code you open request and another engineer is going to have to review your code to make sure that you are covering all your bases and you writing the code as it's supposed to be and it's up to quality and it's doing exactly what you want it to do so the first part is like coding right writing code and reviewing code now another thing that i do is that i do a lot of meetings and they're like different kinds of meetings the first kind of meetings that i do are like team meetings so it can be like sprint check-in meetings or sprint review meetings where so at the beginning of a sprint we all get together we discuss what each person is going to do in the sprint how much work we think we can get done in the sprint and during the sprint like one week after the sprint we also do sprint check-in which is oh the work that we said we're going to do at the beginning of this sprint how is it going so far and another kind of meetings that we do is apart from the team meetings we can do more brother meetings and bigger meetings so it can be like the whole company that is doing the meeting is can be a department of the company it can be like r d it can be only a pillar or it can be an area of the company now another kind of meeting that i do is one-on-one -on -one meeting so it can be with my engineering manager or my tech lead or if say i want to discuss a particular project with one person i can do a one-on-one -on -one meeting one-on-one -on -one meeting is what that sounds like you're doing a one-on-one -on -one meeting and there are also other non what i would like to call informal meetings and those are the kind of meetings that it can just be that say you're writing code and you're like i currently don't understand this you can just go to someone's desk and quickly have some form of meetings now another kind of meetings which i mean it's a kind of meeting that i personally really do enjoy which i've talked about in some of my previous videos i interviews one of the things that engineers also do not everybody but one of the other things that i do is to interview new people that are trying to join the company so i do engineering technical interviews for phone screens just trying to assess different candidates and to see whether they pass the bar or not another last kind of meeting that i do is like code pairing meeting where it's like you set up a meeting and you guys are going over a code to see what is wrong or what you can do better this can be like it's a scheduled one-on-one -on -one meetings it can be a team meeting it can also be that it's just an informal meeting that i already talked about now talking about meetings i would like to talk about the sponsor of this video minutes link minutes link is an advanced ai powered note taker designed to make your virtual meetings more organized and more productive and some of the things that it does is that it makes the recording transcribing and generating human accurate notes for every call that you have and this helps in especially if you're working on a remote team or even if you're not part of a remote team in case some people are unable to join your meetings you can be sure that you have a full transcription of your meetings that other people can always use to catch up on now some of the features that i really like about minutesync is that you can always give it a try without making a commitment if you go to minuteslink.com which the link is showing you can just copy a link to your meeting and give it a try before you even make any comment and i think that's very awesome but some of the things that i love about minuteslink is that it has automated meeting attendance it has accurate transcriptions which are like very awesome there's also instant meeting minutes maybe you're done with your meetings you get the minutes of your meetings inside of your inbox and also you have unlimited storage you know multilingual support it supports up to 50 plus languages which is like 
so if you're like a global team and you have people from different parts of the world this is like what you want to do and also support concurrent meeting capture and collaboration tools you can edit comment and share minutes of your meetings with other people so go out and go to minuteslink.com check out the platform like i said you don't have to make a commitment try it out and i'm sure you're going to enjoy it now back to other things that i do now another thing that i do is planning the work for whatever i'm doing so if i'm leading a project i sometimes have to plan the work right this involves thinking through the problem say i'm leading a project where we're going to build in the future i have to sit down it, this this is one of the things which is like if you don't enjoy problem solving or if you don't enjoy thinking about a particular problem you might not particularly enjoy software engineering right so i see oh you want to build like the messaging feature in instagram or something so you sit down you think through what it's going to be like to build or what you need to build this new feature and some of the things that you probably do that i do there is to write a design doc so a design doc involves how I'm going to solve the particular problem, the trade-offs that I've considered, and what it's going to be like to solve that problem. Also, after doing that, I can see, oh, this is how much work it's going to take to build this feature, and then break down the project into different tasks that different engineers can only speak up. And it's also just like, you know, you also talk to, this involves also to the designer on our team and also the product manager to see what's the scope of the work is, how much do we want to get done in the time that we have. Time is limited, right? So we want to think about how much we can get done in the time that we have. So that's also another thing that i do is to plan the end work or to plan the project that we're about to do like i said i you have to write design doc while doing that but also another thing about design doc is that you also have to similar to reviewing a code you also have to review a design doc so after somebody like after an engineer writes a doc to say that oh this is what i want to build these are the things that i've considered other engineers are brought in to review that design doc to review that document to see have they really considered everything right so there's always checks and balances to say that has this engineer really considered everything Thing it's going to take to be this particular feature there are comments that are dropped now on reviewing documents there are also other kind of documents that i have to review on a daily basis it can be product spec from the product manager it can be figma design just reviewing that and dropping comments it can be other that kind of document that i have to review during the day and another thing that i do is also which is like very intuitive is like i have to respond to task right on asana because sometimes people have questions on various part of the product and usually we ask questions on slack or or asana and i have to respond to messages throughout the day during that uh, and i think that's usually like mostly what i do on a daily basis and like i said at the beginning of the video depending on what level you are if you or depending on what role you are so if you're a tech lead or if you are like a more senior engineer it's possible that you will review more design doc than if you are an intermediate or a junior engineer and if you're a more senior engineer it might be that you write less code or you will do more of designing the architecture or designing things more than writing the code itself planning more projects but i think this basically covers most of the things that i do but let me know if there's anything that i've missed if you work as a software engineer and you think there's anything that i've missed and if you watch this video and you are like oh i really want to be a software engineer go ahead and click the subscribe button because i share tips and tricks to land your software engineering job but also to excel as a software engineer thank you and see ya bye